back with another unboxing video. It's actually been a little while since I've done one of these. Today I'm going to be looking at Cactus Canyon Ceramics. First and foremost, for the sake of total transparency, I'm not being paid any money for any of these opinions. These are my honest opinions of what I think. However, the lovely folks at Cactus Canyon did send me these items for review, so just keep that in mind and take it as you will. Now when I initially began to film this video, I did want to do an unboxing of the actual box, but the box is huge and it is so well packaged, I am very impressed. Let me see if I can pry this one open. So as you can see, these are obviously shipped extremely securely. They are actually boxed within a box. And within that box, it looks like this. It looks like there's some cling and some bubble wrap also. So I'm gonna try to open this. I'm actually a really big fan of planters and pottery and things like that. But this is seriously cool. This is apparently the Orza de Bola. I really like how this kind of appears like a crackled texture. I'm gonna have to get better lighting to show you guys that, but it's really cool. And taking a quick look at their website, it appears that there's kind of like three different shapes for these. There is the Orza. This is a wall hanging planter Spanish Tanaha sunflower. You might say, oh, well, how's that gonna sit up, right? But it's actually meant to be a wall hanging planter, which is really neat. Oops, sorry, I wasn't even in frame. I always kind of worry about wall hanging planters because they seem to just like fall off the wall or get blown off. Anyway, these seem to be like really heavy. Actually, I'm surprised at how heavy the package was, so I don't think that's going to be a problem. I'm kind of interested to see. So last but not least, we have this one, and I think this one might be my favorite. It's got the same finish as the first one we looked at, that really kind of cool textured crackle, I don't know how to explain it. But the thing I really like about this one is that it's shaped more traditionally like, you know, a terracotta pot that you would see in the garden center. So when going to their website, I was able to find out a little bit more about the actual company. And in addition to the wall pots and hanging planters, it looks like they have some garden art and some kitchenware, some plates and bowls and things. One thing I did like is this package came extremely fast. I don't know, within like two or three days or something like that. It actually ships out of Oregon. That was one thing I was kind of wondering about if it would ship from Spain or if it would ship from the U.S. So it looks like it ships from the U.S. Overall, I'm really impressed by these. These are like really nice quality. But not only that, though, there's something I really love about things that are handmade where everything is unique and an original. So many things are mass produced these days, it's hard to, you know, support artists. Considering all that, the price of these are really reasonable. You can go check out their website. I'll put links to all their social media stuff and the website down in the description. But one complaint that I do have is that the holes for hanging on the back side of these are inconsistent. But again, these are handmade. I mean, what do you expect? There was one of them, the Orza. The slit in the back was really, really small. So I ended up, what I used for hanging these was just little hooks and I got the smallest size and the first two worked just fine, but the last one, the Orza, I had to actually get a grinder and grind down the hook. I'm sure it wouldn't have been a problem if I used a strong nail or something like that, but I'd already bought the hook, so I figured I'd go ahead and use it. I hope you really liked this video and if you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I would absolutely love to have you. We are working our way to a thousand subs. That would be so wonderful if we could get there. As always, I hope it's really sunny wherever you are and I hope you're having a really great day. Bye guys.